Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And of course, I'm here with the most beautiful boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Ongara. And today we're actually out here on the river because we are at the beautiful safari house. The reason we are here today is because for the last couple of months, a beautiful woman who is nicknamed the ancient fiddler has actually been living here. And her and Angara have actually become pretty good friends. She is 93 years old. She has to leave tomorrow, which we're very, very sad about. And she wants to play some music for the beautiful boy. Yeah, you wanna hear some music? Are you ready? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. So everybody, this is the beautiful Ruth Grierson. 93 years young. Yes, I can't believe it myself. That's amazing. <laughs> I did read an interview that you did before and you're planning on living at least to 100. Uh, that, well, uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that. My family's not incredibly long lived, but I am doing my very best to be healthy, and I hope that I actually am able to live a long and happy life as well. Oh, I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was a little bit excited about your trip down here because at 93 years old, this was your very first trip into the South? No, but in the South Carolina, yes. Okay. I've been to Florida before. You've been to Florida, okay. You've been staying here at our be beautiful safari house, which uh, allows you to experience your very first flood. Yeah, yeah, that was very <laughs> That was very strange. I couldn't believe it as the water got higher and higher and higher and finally I had to leave. <laughs> but not by kayak. That would no, been luckily, no, not by kayak. <laughs> So, yes, uh, if you guys didn't watch my video earlier, you can actually see the flood that just happened a couple months ago. And um, unfortunately, we had to move her out, but you got to go stay at a beach uh, hotel. So. Yeah, that was a little claustrophobic after this. <laughs> Let's see, you met your very first elephant? Yes, oh, Bubbles is a charmer. I couldn't believe the size of it. She, she's she's so big and so powerful at the you, you, you feel real small next to her. And gentle too, she kind of yes. just touched you a little bit and smelled yeah. you and tried to get to know you. Yeah. It's kiss. <laughs> wants to smell and kiss you because they say an elephant never forgets. Oh, and I believe good. that she will always remember you, which is uh, very, very cool well, too. I remember meeting her. <laughs> she's, she's special. Let's see, is this your first chimp friend? Y yes, definitely my first chimp friend. A lot of firsts at 93. I love that, I, I love that. What else, what else is a first since you've been here? <laughs> well, I think, um, oh, I'm trying to think of it. And some of the birds are absolutely fantastic. Oh, so uh, you write. Saw, and, the, and the alligator, I saw an alligator. The alligator, yeah. I didn't expect to see it in all of the <laughs> You write a nature column for a magazine? It's for a newspaper, although I've written for magazines, but I have a, for 50 years I've been doing it for a newspaper in Maine. That's amazing. And it's a column about birds coming to your yard and what you see when you're outside, sort of look, look what's here. And uh, I, I don't know what to do if I had to stop that. No, I love that. Because you sat in my yard, you, and then you told me oh, about the story of, of all the birds up there. Yeah, I've written several <laughs> books about nature. How many books have you read? Four, four, five. Four books, that's crazy. Yeah, one, one new one last year. No, it, it wasn't way back when I did it, I've been doing it currently. <laughs> nice. So I read also that you um, were classically trained with the violin. Yes, I started off with classical music and then where I grew up in New York City and they're into classical. And when I moved to Maine, I didn't know what they were doing because there was no classical at all. And so I had to learn country western and the old timey and everything. And <laughs> I joined a group called the Country Strummers. And there was, a, was four men and me. And we used to play at dances and parties and things. I played the piano then though. And then I, then when the head violinist got too old, um, I, I took over his part. That's awesome. And you uh, we went to a Celtic festival. I. I heard yes. the Celtic festival was happening. I did not know you were a huge fan. I'm very happy that you went there and oh, it was great. met and some I friends. Wormed my, I wormed my way in. <laughs> said, Should we leave the, the violin in the car? No, I'm going to carry it with me. I might meet somebody. And sure enough, I was 
roaming around and carrying it. And somebody said, oh, you play the violin? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. <laughs> and, and I met some a guitar player and a singer, and we had fun together. That's so much fun. Yeah. If I um, lived here, I'd, I'd have a boot <laughs> Probably, I think one of the coolest things you do is going to Newfoundland every year. Oh, you want to tell me a little bit about that? I'm so in love with Newfoundland. You know, it, that, it's, it's the friendliest country and it's wild and it's the way it used to be years ago in, in, in this country. But um, we met all these wonderful musicians and they don't they don't say, yes, come and play with us or anything. They, they just play it cool. And the fellow said, I, can I play with you tonight? You can play one tune. Oh, well, I played one tune and two tunes and three tunes. <laughs> and, he, and he said, we can spend the evening. <laughs> that, nice. That, that, was, that was exciting. That's an yeah. incredible story. Now, every year I go back, we go, we go to the same spot and I play with him. Oh, that's so awesome. So this is my best friend's mama, Heather. And you met Heather actually in the whale video. So if you guys haven't seen the whale video, look back and you'll see her. And this is her beautiful mama, who also recently got a new cow heart valve oh. put in your heart. Oh, that was an experience. That's insane. I was too old for the regular heart uh, operation. It, it, that it takes about months to recover from it. But this was recommended for people my age. It is supposed to be two or three days in the hospital, and that's all it was. I think I had that went in one day, had the operation the next, and two days later I was home. That's and crazy. then a week later I was playing in a restaurant. <laughs> and normally it takes months to get over a heart operation. Oh yeah, hi. Are hi. you flirting with me? A little yes, bit, you're flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Take some patty cakes, you silly boy. <laughs> And then I guess your doctor told you you were no longer able to climb mountains after oh, that. Oh, no, that, that's, a, that's a problem. <laughs> I like to go out and, and walk, and, but I can't do that. And now, now I'm tottering. I, I, the balance is terrible. I think you're and, still moving really good. And, uh, it, it's frustrating not to be able to just go where you want to go when you want to do it. Right. I was uh, wondering if you wanted to play the cow heart valve song. Well, I can song. play it too, and I'm not sure I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of the other thing is driving me crazy is having a hearing aid and you've got to I've got to tune you in. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm always fussing with my ear because I'm... Oh, if it's not in tune, it would be disgusting. <laughs> I gotta be sure. Yeah. There's a song about an elephant. That's about oh, okay. Be okay. Okay. Well, the violin is more fussy than a trumpet, you'll find. <laughs> um, you have to, the bow has to be right. Yeah, the, the trumpet's not have to be too. in tune. And, uh, trumpet's not too picky. <laughs> song for the monkey. All right, you ready? Ready to get down there and dance? Go 
that was absolutely amazing. Uh, that was my first <laughs> performance with a chimp. Yes. Another first. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, she just started her first Instagram account. Yes. Yeah, so go to Ancient Fiddler on Instagram and check her out, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, stay wild. <laughs>